Hello, this is Tandy Banks with Go Engineer. I've got a quick tip today with SolidWorks Inspection. So within the SolidWorks Inspection standalone interface, we can access the Property Projects pane over here on the left hand side. And you can see we have our standard properties as well as a custom area. I'm going to use this job number today and I'll just key in a value of you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can add any additional properties and values just by selecting in the cell, keying in a value and when we get done we can hit the OK button. If you want these properties to be available for future projects we can do that by saving this as inspection project template and that way whenever you create a new document it says what template do you want to use and you can reuse your custom template that you just created. Another template that we need to alter is the Excel export template and we do that through the template editor. Go up here our big start button template editor and we choose the starting template that we want to work with. I'm going to use an AS9102 to get started with today and inside this interface we have the template editor drop downs as well as Excel and so if we wanted to do something like use the serial lot number and change that over to be job number we could select in the cell and from the project property drop down we can come in here and choose job number as what we want to insert click the insert button you can see the syntax will change and then maybe we just need to change um, the actual value up top so we'll call this job number instead All right, once we've got that specified we can come over here and click on the finished button it asks us what do we want to save this project as I'm going to change it to this name replace that template and now when we get ready to export this project using our Excel we will want to choose that template and you can see first run through that's not going to be available in this list so we'll have to hit the plus sign come down here and choose our new template and then we can export that out now you can see that job number is being captured in our specific template Hope you've enjoyed this quick tip regarding SolidWorks inspection and capturing custom properties and templates. My name is Tandy Banks with Go Engineer.